Hello and welcome. I am so glad to have you here with me today. It honestly does mean a lot and I hope you're happy too. Now today I'm going to be watching The Crow for the very first time. Mainly because I've been seeing all over the internet um, on social media how they're remaking this movie and uh, I think they cast Bill Skarsgård and uh, some people are fine with it and some people are very very angry. And I can't have an opinion because I haven't actually seen the original movie. And how can I go about my business on social media and not have an opinion on something? Unthinkable. So what do I know about The Crow? Very little. Nothing about the actual movie, the story, or anything like that. I know the imagery of the poster, you know, with Brandon Lee kind of arms outstretched, the spotlight on him, um, in silhouette almost. I know that. And sadly, the, um, the incident on the set that took Brandon Lee's life. I don't remember if it was during the filming, like actually footage shot of it, or if it was rehearsal blocking something like that um and he was he was uh he was killed by a, a firearm mishap i think it was a, a fragment from the casing of a blank or something something completely freakish like that and sadly that has kind of just uh kind of colored the whole legacy of the movie i mean look i know more about that than i do the actual movie which i think is sad and i think it's time to fix that we're going to watch The Crow today, and I want to see for myself what it is, what it's about, and to actually take in Brandon Lee's performance, which I've heard is excellent, and this was supposed to be his his big debut, his, his breakout role. So I would like to pay him tribute by watching his movie today. And I hope you stick around and join me. If you do, please remember that this is a reaction video. You're here to see me as egotistical as that sounds you're here to see me you're not here to see the movie if you want to see the movie you can go rent it on amazon prime just like i did i'm here to commentate you're going to see more of me than you are of the movie if that's not your thing if you don't want to see that no problem at all i'm glad you stopped by and i hope you have a great day if you want to stick around and watch my reaction to the movie i would love to have you but don't complain later please <laughs> anyway that's enough of that let's get into the crow it's just funny. It's This is one of those movies where it's like, I know that it's influenced a lot of things I have seen, and I think I'll recognize a lot of that influence here, but I, yeah, I just don't know anything about this actual movie. Okay. Yep, yep. This looks like Gotham. People once believed when someone dies, Crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. Sometimes something so bad happens, the Crow can bring that soul back the wrong things right. That's helpful. Ernie Hudson? Oh, this is terrible. Hey, Sarge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wedding was tomorrow night. Who the fuck gets married on Halloween anyhow? Who the fuck it makes it their business to make judgments about when someone gets married, asshole? You gotta move her. Do it. All right, guys, let's do it. So I guess that was the fiance out on the concrete outside. Is this the victim? No, it's a me, Earhart. I don't care what her name is. Oh my God, you're stupid. I didn't get the order to move. Her. Jesus, Aubrey. Move her. She's alive. She needs medical treatment. Shelly. Stand back, kid. We don't need permission to move someone who's going to the hospital. Ella just takes care of me. She's my friend. Her and Eric. So they were great people, too, of course. She's gonna die, isn't she? You could say, I hope not. You could say, they're gonna do their best. Oh, uh, but he's seen, he's seen too much, hasn't he? Oh my god, this is just, this is horrifying all the way around. No, oh, so she did not make it. What are you, like the night watchman? Maybe. Are we waking him up? You hungry? You buying? I'm buying. Does he kind of keep an eye out for her now? I like that. Like here, he actually caught on fire once from all the crap floating around in it. I believe it. <laughs> oh! Rearrange assholes. Oh, 
are those are those the assholes? Oh boy. Oh, I mean, I figured we'd see him come back from the dead, but I didn't think like straight out of the ground. I thought more of a vengeful ghost, not like a zombie. He doesn't even look like a zombie. He literally looks like he just woke up from a nap. I mean, a bad one, an unproductive one, but. Probably have no idea where you are. What what happened? What's going on? Does he even remember what happened to him? So the crow's kind of like a like a guide. Bad people out on the street tonight. Kind of looks like there's bad people on the street every night there. Is he there? Like corporeal in the flesh? Everything is like stiff from being dead. I will say I think it was a very cool choice to to start at the aftermath, like the crime is over. We didn't see the buildup to the crime. We didn't get to know him or her before it happened. We started there. I think that was a really, really good choice. Oh, let's redecorate. Garbage. Oh no. No, 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 me first. Oh, he's oh, got to relive it, of course. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> so he exists in in reality, but I hate everything about those people. Yep. Yep. I understand. I've seen the makeup and stuff, so I guess I thought that it was just like a like a like a ghost thing, like that's just how he looked, but he makes himself look like that. Oh, that is cool. All right, I personally am ready for some vengeance. Okay, mm -hmm. 18k, it's crap. Nice coke nail. Cheap ass. Bro, don't. Everyone knows the pawn shop guy sets the rules. It says it was Tintin? Like the European comics? The CGI is, you know, kind of obviously done, and I don't know if that's just because it's outdated or if it was a conscious choice to make it kind of look otherworldly. At this point, I can't tell, and it actually just, either way, really works. Oh. <laughs> kind of thought he'd stick a landing there, not gonna lie. Yes, yes, scare him. So I know he's got like instant healing or very fast healing. He doesn't seem impervious to pain. Is he like super strong or anything like that? Kind of seems like it. She loved it. Uh... We never miss. Uh oh, they missed that time. Oh, that one too. Try again. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, I wanted it in his face. Victims, aren't we all? That was relatively easy. Gather your soldiers. You're on for tomorrow night. I'm having another one of my. Is that maybe it is moments? Obligatory booty shot. Two of them. Oh, this guy's popular. Dad gave me this. Fifth birthday. He said, childhood's over in the moment you know you're gonna die. Charming. I feel like, a, I don't know, a, a transformer might have been more appropriate, but I mean, what do I know? Is she asleep? Oh. 
Oh. I think we broke her. Forever, it looks like. I love her eyes. Pretty. This is not the situation I thought it was. I told you to stay out of here. Mom. Get some food, huh? Why am I not surprised? Go sleep it off somewhere else, dust head. He's not taking no for an answer today. Oh, okay. Oh, shit on me. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. Gideon, who? I'm not paying attention. Woo! A gold engagement ring, yes? Upon here a year ago by a customer of yours named Tinty. He confided in me before he ran out of breath. Whoa! One of T-Bird's little helpers. I think you can rule out accidental death. <laughs> you think so? They're gonna kill me with these flashbacks. I love you. Ooh-wee. Oh. Tell the rest of them that death is coming for them. Yes, take that. Street race, you motherfucker! Is that gasoline I smell? I mean, you had one job. Couldn't keep your mouth shut. And you still get to live. On the house, kiddo, you know that. Literally everybody else in this shithole town takes care of this kid instead of her mother. I mean, what does that say about you? The guy that murdered Tintin. He was already dead. I would call it justice. They're all dead. They just don't know it yet. Oh, that makeup does so much to make it even better. I'm just glad he's our protagonist and uh, we're on his side. Oh, great. Great. I wouldn't bring this up to your pockmark boss. You are very restless. You are very observant, Captain Obvious. There are energies aligning against you. Oh, ew. So who is this creepo? Somebody stuck his blades in all his major organs in alphabetical order. If Even if that's not true, I love it. I'm gonna pretend it is. I still ain't heard the story on why Gideon's burned down. So I wonder if this guy's got some tie then to the, to the, the murder. <laughs> Whoa! Go, oh, you creep! You almost got hit by a cab, idiot! Can't rain all the time. Eric? Oh! Is that something he said to her before? Or did he just recognize his voice? Double homicide a year ago. No convictions. No shit. Oh! You're gonna wind up working a school crosswalk. He's gonna do it anyway, though, because he's too good of a person to not. I can't decide if I want him to get the mom, too. Is the crow like part of him? Does it, I mean, it sees for him. You don't want to see that coming at you in the middle of the night. You look in the mirror. You need professional help. Oh, yeah, coming from you? Sure thing. He Jesus Christ. Not quite. Don't you ever fucking die? Once. Look what you've done to my sheets. Could be worse when they get brains all over them. Got a gun in my pocket. Now it's gonna say we can't be done with this one. Mother is the name for God on the lips and hearts of all children. Do you understand? I doubt it. Morphine oh, is bad oh, for you. Oh, oh. Your daughter is out there on the streets waiting for you. Did he just insta detox her? Now that's something. 
You better fix yourself. You burn yourself playing with matches? Fuck off. You have an appointment. I gotta see if that's the candy man. It is the candy man. And now I've said it twice. I shan't say it again. Fun fact, since I was nine years old, I have not been able to look at a mirror in the dark. I will not. I close my eyes or look down. I refuse. Oh! Oh! The best part is how he waits for people to see him before he does stuff like that. And we got another mark. <laughs> you wearing your hat and your undies? So your body, man, you you died. You got buried. Now I'm back. You still have your hat on. I need you to tell me what happened to us. Oh, boy. Uh. Shelly Webster held on for 30 hours in intensive care. Oh, God. Oh, why did you want to see it, sweetie? You stayed with her the whole time. Yeah. I told you he was a good guy. Finally got busted for sticking my nose where it wasn't wanted. AKA doing your job. Little things used to mean so much to Shelly. I used to think they were kind of trivial. Believe me, nothing is trivial. I agree. You shouldn't smoke these. They'll kill you. It's such a cool way that he's just a normal guy when he's dealing with good people. I'm sorry as hell for what happened to you and your girlfriend. Yeah. It feels so dismissive when people say that to you, but what else can you say? And you know there's nothing else they can say. There's no, there's nothing good you can say. I do about all this crap. My livelihood, it got flushed away and went swirl. You got out with your life. No, you're directly out of your fucking mind. You know that? You're the one who works for him. She's supposed to be your sister. <laughs> My father's daughter. I thought they were doing it. Me to tell T-Bird that death was on its way, whatever the fuck that means. What else could it mean? Boy and his bird. Awful touching. Cut his head off. I was close. It kind of looks like a graphic novel, doesn't it? I'm working. Oh, it's from his music. Yeah, he did. Y'all need to take it down. No fun, boy. Probably still. Bang away, I'm Darla. Something got penetrated for sure. The fuck are you supposed to be, man? Why is everyone asked that? Hey, that one got taken care of for us. I this. I can't even call it cream legally. What in the crap? <laughs> hey, his reflexes were on point. You got some personal amigo. We can work it out, right? That's what we're doing right now, actually. <laughs> the fact that this guy wasn't the first one to get killed uh, is kind of amazing. Oh, shit! Goddamn fern curse! Oh, I hate this. It's dangerous. You are very, very stupid. <laughs> I just took care of a couple of problems. It wasn't going along with our tenant relocation program. The idiot boyfriend shows up and turns a simple sweep and clear into a total cluster. Fuck. Who gives a shit? Obviously, he gives a shit, you idiot. You can't be you. We put you through the window. We killed your dad. There ain't no coming. Well, you about to find out. <laughs> Whoa! Right in the crotch. I'd say get out of here or you're next, but you are clearly very, very attached to this guy. Oh, man! <laughs> Not a lot of mistaking that. Did uh the come to Jesus work with mom here? So what did you take to become mother of the year? Someone kinda 
scare the shit out of me. I make him crazy. Mom. Oh! He's fused to his own car. We're gonna have to ID his teeth. Ha <laughs> ha! Arson was his specialty. Looks like he zigged when he should have zagged. What do you want me to do about it? I'm just a beat cop. I got a goddamn vigilante killer knocking off scumbags left and right. Why should you care? At least he's doing the job you can't. Good speech, though. I didn't want to interrupt you. It sounded good. You gotta write that shit down. <laughs> I love him. Suspension. For what? Misconduct. Doing my job is misconduct, and then not doing my job is misconduct. So it sounds like I can't win no matter what I do, so fine. You're not dead, are you? <laughs> Who knows anymore? Yeah, you can disappear quickly, but the smoke can't. I knew it was you. Even with the makeup. You seem surprisingly nonchalant about it, though. I miss you. And Shelly. It's so lonely all by myself. My heart. I do care. You couldn't let her go like that. He was all painted up white like some kind of dead whore. I seen him. t bird Black Rod t bird to his fucking car. We ought to just videotape this play it back in slow motion. <laughs> what grave? What about my fucking grave? Oh! Yeah, shut up. Ways them both, and now this goat gonna kill my ass next. Whoa! <laughs> this ghost gonna kill my ass next. Not if they kill you first. It ain't no ghost. They have all arrived. I wonder if him having this, you know, this witchy lady with him, is that gonna uh, affect his his healing and his uh, his abilities? When someone's dead, they can't come back, can they? Well, not usually. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's a good answer. I saw somebody. Maybe it was your fairy godfather. You had a damn conversation with him. I love a good guitar riff, man. I don't know a damn thing about music, but I know what I like. So this this whole vibe is is something that like just missed me. T Bird won't be joining us this evening on account of a slight case of death. He will not be joining us for the rest of his life. Devil's night is upon us again. I like the pretty lies. And you like drawing your lipstick way over your lips. The idea becomes an institution. W what? What is he talking about? Do you know what they got now? Devil's Night greeting cards. So your anarchy became mainstream, which made it boring. I feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook. <laughs> that may be the smartest thing you said the whole movie. Maybe your whole life. <laughs> right answer. Gentlemen. <laughs> Again, right answer. A killer of killers. Nice outfit. Oh, yeah, you should talk. Vampire Lestat. Ooh, that her. Yeah, it does hurt, and he still like takes it. He still does it. That's the crazy part. That's crazy. He's gone. <laughs> Tweaky McSpeed Freak has the right idea here. <laughs> Oh my, you don't use the prostitute as a meat shield. Yes, keep shooting him, because clearly that's working. Oh, they just keep on shooting. Ooh, shouldn't have left that open. Ha ha ha. Ah, fun. That'll end the party. People start falling from the ceiling. Ooh! Not a good day to be a bad guy, huh, skank? Huh, oh, skank? Skank dead. You got that right. Whoop! Oh. Move and we shoot! Oh no. Right? Oof. Those shots hurt my knees every time I see someone land like that. I don't care if you're super powered or not. Ooh, 
Ouch. Yeah. So many cops think they're giving away donuts. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to do that. Disappear or uh, leave blood all over your seats. He has power, but it is power you can take from him. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I bet that guy loves to see children celebrating his his devil's night. I gave this to Shelly once. I think she'd like you to have it. Aww. This way you'll always remember her. Let me guess. Uh, the syndicate of Dick Watts is gonna show up just as he was about to leave again anyway. They're gonna mess with her, aren't they? Typical. What is that? Some sort of souvenir there from your pal? Fuck you. Her eyes are so innocent. Well, she's a child. That tracks. Not time to rest yet. You were gonna get off scot free here. Uh huh. Why didn't the birdie move? Give me the girl. And I'll let you walk out of here. Give me a minute to think about that. This guy's hair, features, voice, none of it works together. <clears throat> Bird was just moving around, though. Bye-bye, Birdie. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Bitch, get your hands off the bird! Night-night, <laughs> see... Man, I'm not gonna say it. You see in front, when they run out of ammo, I'll arrest them. There's just one problem. I I'm not quite impervious anymore. Invincible. I was. I'm not anymore. That is a problem. I knew there was something not right with those two. <laughs> ah! You were supposed to stay behind me. I think I messed up. He just does whatever he wants to do. God love him. All the power you ever had. Now it is mine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need eyes to see. Always big bad men gotta be messing with kids. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that is cool! Oh, I love that shot! You know, my daddy used to say, every man's got a devil. Your daddy was fucked up. You got a lot of spirit, son. I am gonna miss you. Why would I care what you think? I have something to give you. I don't want it anymore. 30 hours of pain. All at once. He can do that? Good. And the gargoyle spitting out his blood! Are you alive? That's a much better question than are you okay, because he's definitely not okay, but he is alive. What you kept in here saved me. Thanks. That's such a sad and beautiful thing, though. That the pain you hold on to sometimes can actually help you. Stay with him until help comes. Eric? Just like that. He does that a lot. <laughs> oh. At least it stopped raining, huh? Can't rain all the time. Can't rain all the time. Your vigilante's up on the roof. You missed it. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, is she here to take him away?
He must be so tired. And his grave is back, restored, just like nothing happened. Buildings burn, people die, but real love is forever. I didn't need to hear that today. Oh, it was a comic book, okay. Yeah, that line kind of hit me a little bit hard today, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit thick for my feelings right now. Okay, so that was The Crow, and uh, that was quite an experience for me, honestly. It, it was another one of those movies that's just kind of a lot of different things. I mean, once it, it started, I kind of felt like I had an idea of, of what kind of movie it was going to be, but then it would, it would surprise me every once in a while with kind of the, with, with some humor. Um, there were some really good, there was, there was some really good funny parts in there, some good jokes. Um, but also, you know, they would hit you with, with the real heart stuff. And always when I kind of wasn't expecting it, that end was, that end was very impactful for me. Even just, just, the, just the last little bit there in the cemetery. Um, maybe it's just because of like my own personal experiences and just you know um the day the day that I've had you know it kind of hit me really hard especially that ending line the um uh if the people we love are stolen from us the way to have them to live on is to never stop loving them and that's that's um that's quite a lot for me to handle today so yeah um <laughs> yeah it, this 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 did everything it was trying to set out to, to do i think this was um it was it was a very beautiful story i thought even though of course it was filled with ugliness and violence and horror but in the end you know what it's saying i thought was it was very impactful for me and i i definitely can see both why it impacted a lot of people and why people have kind of carried the whole the message and the whole thing with them but even just cinematically i can i can see i can see this it, how it influenced a lot of things that follow things that that i really liked and enjoyed you know so yeah this this i this is a special movie i i, I can tell and, and not just because of the tragedy surrounding it which i think does kind of keep it at the forefront of of you know history but um I don't think the tragedy with Brandon Lee, I don't, I don't think it, I don't think it falsely elevates the movie, you know, I don't, I don't think it adds anything to it that the movie didn't already earn, if that makes sense. Uh, what a, what a shame, what a shame to lose, to lose Brandon Lee, because he, he was, I think he did an excellent job, and I think he had a real future in, in movies. And it is it is terrible what happened to him. And I I, I, I looked up real quick. Eliza, uh, I guess, was his fiance. Which, what a horrible, horrible irony or I guess terrible coincidence that this movie ab about two lovers being separated by death ends up in that same situation for Brandon Lee's real life fiance. That is that is that is gut wrenching. And my biggest sympathies to to her and and lee's whole family i i hope i hope they're able to find but able to find some kind of you know semblance of comfort as time has gone on even though i know from experience that that grief for someone who has gone unnatural too soon never goes away so but you can always hope for the best i guess um I've gone on long enough, and this has been, I think, enough of a downer for everybody. <laughs> but just, you know, hold your loved ones close. Just, you never know when we'll have to say goodbye, if we'll even get to say goodbye. So just, just tell your people you love them. Remember, remember to say it. Remember to tell people how you appreciate them, and just, you know, if you can hug them tighter, just make sure to do so. And um, remember to take care of yourselves also. I love you. You're valuable. You matter. I'll see you next time.